Okay, on the 4th of August in 1986, I was flying uh, to go on a fishing trip with a friend of mine, and, and we're about 100 miles west of Anchorage, and I decided to take a stop and for a pit stop, basically. And I did a low approach to check the, the landing area, and then I didn't like that too much, so I did a second approach, and when I came in on the second approach, I decided to pull full flaps, and then I dropped one notch of flaps, and the plane started to sink, and I got behind the power curve. So I gave it full throttle and pulled back in full flaps, and uh, it started to do something funny. It started to go a little sideways, and I had rising terrain, and first it kind of turned to the right, and I was giving it full left rudder, trying to get it to go to the left, and finally it hit the right wheel and bounced, and um, let's see, it was it was pointing to the left when it hit the right wheel, and then it turned to the right, and it hit the left wheel and collapsed the front landing gear on the left side, and then it hit the wing and collapsed the wing, folded the wing, and then it hit the prop, and we came to a stop. And we were going maybe 25 miles an hour, and we got rescued that day with some help of some great friends, it rained for about the next three weeks, and the video that comes next shows how um, we did some temporary repairs to fly the Cub back uh, to Anchorage, which would have cost $10,000 had we had to use a helicopter. Here we are on the 6th of August, and we get over here by 10 o'clock to repair Terry's airplane. Terry's up here flying around, on Sunday the, or Saturday the 3rd, I believe. Here's Charlie Center, mechanic extraordinaire, won Alaska's Mechanic of the Year Award for three consecutive years. <laughs> Charlie, you're looking mighty fine today, buddy. Oh shit, making that big money. <laughs> cha-ching, cha-ching. Cha-ching. Oh. Ken Rivard still holds the world record for flying a 737 the fastest. <laughs> and ace cup pilot Terry Landis, who was demonstrating short field takeoffs and landings at 3,000 feet. How to go around. <laughs> and this. How long did it take, Terry? Did the guys work on it? Four hours? Five? We at 11. What time is it? Well, I told you three. Five to 11. I three. How many hours? Four hours. Four hours. Cha-ching, cha-ching. But it is put back together. Action rolling. <laughs> Are you all are you all waiting on me? Yeah. Well, kind of, but we're ready to, to, bask, it. to we're push this thing. Okay, bask in the glory. Look at this contraption right here. A Charlie Center. A Charlie Center. And I guess fixer upper. Let me show you the tape on the wings. There's the tape on the wings. That's how you fly these fabric airplanes out. Aileron's working good. And there is a crack windshield that was repaired. But I'll tell you what, you don't see many rigs like this to fly this baby out. Okay, what I do, Terry, when you run it, it runs okay. I bring it straight ahead up to right about here to spin you. a little ways and swing it to the right and you can put your right wheel right here left wheel here or right through here as soon as you get around there head for it looked to me like if you walk back up this way it was yeah terrain. yeah well you're going to have to kind of jog like around to the right there okay well fire it up see if it's going to run without shaking the part 
The big test. Runs like a champ. Shut off for a second. Barry's turning around. Ken's still on it for takeoff. Gonna check to see how it's running. He's got about 300 feet here on top of this hill. Wind's blowing 10 miles an hour probably, but we're at 3,000 feet. There's our two airplanes there over this little hill. There's the boys, giving them some guidance. Got a strong wind. Shutting it there. Gotta go check what's going on. You wanna get all three in a row or you gonna take off first or what? Oh, he might as well take off first. You guys ready to go? We'll be able to catch up with him. Yeah, we'll catch it, Terry. Go ahead. So right, basically right through here, huh? Yeah. yeah. Just like there's the marker I put in. Is that the first marker? That's the that's the first marker. Okay. Use all your flaps. You sure we have flaps? Right up here. Right slightly to the left. And you should be here more than 200 feet. Okay. Yeah, it Full probably flaps, doesn't. Think? I would take off a little bit. It might not be. Uh, oh yeah, this wind. It might not rig this right. So Good luck! <laughs> I think Terry just got done praying. And we got a bet. Charlie and I think he's going to be off by there. I say a little bit longer. Here we go. He's off. There he goes. 
Oh, by God. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations. Ha, ha, ha.